Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, we're going to be soldering up the RSS iPad on a V2 or an omnibus uh, V2 board. Now, there's been lots of discussion, lots of confusion about this, and I'd like to clarify something for you, which is that there is an RSS i pin or pad on the V2 board, it's hiding. And where it's hiding is that on the bottom of the board, and I'll see if I can put my uh, knife right on there, you'll see it says RS, and then there's, what does that actually say? It, R, well, I don't know, it just says RS some or other. Anyway, if you look on the schematics, that is the RSSI pad there, and it is an absolute ball bag to do. So if you are considering soldering this up, you better have a game soldering skills. And I've learned from trying to record d doing this last time uh, that me trying to solder it and you trying to see a good picture of me soldering it doesn't work out very well. So I'm afraid to say that you're going to get pushed to one side. Apologies for that. And remember, this is my own board, which I'm soldering up here. Uh, and we'll go and get this little thing soldered up so that we can have the RSSI input. Now, what do we need to be able to do this? Well, the answer is actually very simple. Uh, these little Dupont connectors, which I'm sure if you've ever played around with an RSS, um, with an Arduino before, you've got some of these kicking around. All I've been in done is just chop one off short, maybe about an inch, maybe two inches longer. Okay, and I've got a tiny little uh, bit hanging out. Yeah, it is absolutely tiny. I would say uh, about one eighth of an inch pointing out the end and I'm quickly just going to go and tin that up and I'll try and do as much as I can on my um, dirty dog uh, soldering pad which is actually a coffee coaster uh, which makes a brilliant soldering pad so uh, with that said let's go and get that soldered up a mo. I'll try and keep this in shot as best I can but uh, ew, that head's disgusting let me just clean that up for a second again like I said you'll need to be on your A game soldering skills for this uh, because it is some very, very tiny and tight soldering which you need to do for this. And that's not working out very well, so I'm going to have to do it off camera. So we're just going to pre tin the wire, which has been pre tinned, that has worked out semi well. So I've just been in pre tin that. Now I'm going to clean up the head, make sure it's super, super clean. Uh, the nib on the uh, soldering iron. And I need to get in there. And again, I'm going to try and do this so that you can see it. Now before we go any further, pen is what I've got there is one of those flux pens. Uh, they're like two or three quid off eBay. Just going to give it a quick little dose on there. All we want to do is just, I'm going to need to get this cable the right way round. And you'll see that me, I'm coming in at an angle which I'm not going to touch any of the other surface mount components on here, especially consider that there are some tiny little resistors down there. I'm going to give us a tiny little dab on the end uh, and just trying to get it to take. I'm going to clean that off. And this is why I've suggested the V1 boards for you because this is just a straightforward pin uh, on the V1 board uh, and on the V2 board it's an absolute toad. Right, so there we go. Tiny little pad. Just trying to make sure that pad's covered. Brilliant. Uh, and then the magic trick. Now what I'm going to be doing with mine is run it, running it out the side of the board. I'm going to try and get that down as flat as I can. Uh, and apologies if the light's not great here. Let me see if I can turn this around a touch. Again, it'll improve it for me soldering it as well. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this wire out the side of the board. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a nice big dose of goop glue uh, on top uh, to make sure it... Uh, it's got extra support on there because if we left this wire dangling around it would just break over time which is not ideal for anybody uh, and let's see if we can just get in there and tack that wire
No, that's not working out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and grab a different two point connector. And I'm leaving all this in as I always do in the other videos because I want to make this as real life as possible for you. Is that I've just been in a hit an issue, so I'm working my way around it. Is that that cable would just not, that wire would just not connect to the board. So I've grabbed myself a different wire type uh, from a dew point connector. Just going to quickly clean it up. Strip the end off it. Ah, so the other one was a copper wire, and that really was not taking the. Uh, so you'll see, I've got another one here now, and uh, I'm just gonna give that a dab. Let's see if I can pre-tin that one now. Get the wire around. And is it nice when they post all these really simple how-to videos on uh, U balls? And the reality is that sometimes it's really not that bloody easy, is it? Right, sorry. Got that on there, and then what I'm going to quickly do it that wire is just too long, so I am just going to nip it down short, and we're going to have go number two at it. Right, again, cleaning the nib up nicely in the do there, again, making sure that at least you can half see what's going on. Tiny little bit of solder on the uh nib itself right and this is not an easy job there you go it's on happy not swearing matt not swearing at uh, happy days that has now been and soldered on there i hope that's in focus i am just going to quickly visually check that myself to make sure it's not been and bridged itself over on that tiny little I'm guessing it's a resistor on there no it's on there it feels good so what I'm now going to do and of course you could use a little bit of hot glue uh, if you wanted what I'm going to go and use is uh, some goop plumbing glue and then what I'm going to quickly do is grab that and I'm going to give it a nice big dose of goop glue over there and then over here on the opposite side, just there, I've given it two little doses of Google, and I'll show you the finished product right now. So there we go, and you will see, if I find something to poke at it, there we go. So we've got this, the RSS iPad soldered on there now. We've got a nice, and we checked it, just tugged on it very lightly to make sure it was a good fixing on there. I went very careful of the other surface mount components. You saw me coming in, at a different angle and a diagonal angle trying to get the uh, nib of the solder and iron on there as well and then to make sure that this wire is now restrained so it's not going to tug and come loose is that I've given it a dab of goop glue just there you could of course use hot glue uh, and I've also given it a dab of uh, goop glue just there do go careful of that little chip just down there just a little quick heads up don't want to get too much goop glue over on that one but uh, these are the these passive components so those capacitors there and those other capacitors there are fair game uh, and I've just given it a little dab of goop glue to make sure it's restrained now I'll go and leave this to dry for half an hour or so and wait for that goop glue to set and then that now means is that when we've got this up that way round in our model is that we now have the RSSI connector hanging outside and of course if you're using a say an L9R an X8R or maybe one of the UHF devices, uh, receivers, which pump out RSSI on a separate pin. That now means that you can connect your RSSI input to that wire there. And then on the goggles, when you're in the sky, uh, is that you'll then see a correct value for the RSSI uh, on uh, your device, or in your, in your, on your OSD. Now there is one note, and I'm not gonna run across to the desk to show this, uh, so I'll leave you to go and do this yourself. It's really straightforward. Connect this board up uh, to iNav. So you plug it in the USB socket and press connect in the top right hand corner. Then on the left hand side, go down to configuration. Okay. And then over on the right hand side, scroll down and you'll see that all these different options which you can enable. And one of them is called uh, something like enable analog uh, RSSI ADC or something like that. It's got RSSI and it. it's the only one on the bottom right hand corner which has got ADC and RSSI on the same line. Enable that 
and then press save and reboot in the bottom right hand corner and that's how you solder up the wire for your RSSI connector on a V2 board and also how you enable it in iNav as well. So there you go, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Any comments which you have about this episode and soldering up uh, the RSS iPad to a Omnibus V2 board. Uh, by the way, that is the same setup which you need to do for a V3 board as well. Please let me know in the comments section underneath this video. And no apologies for this being like 10 minutes long because I'd like to keep this as real as possible for you. This is not an easy task and you need very good soldering skills and a very, very steady hand. Uh, and don't be afraid like what you saw me do. That wire was just not gonna, it just wasn't playing ball. Threw it away, grabbed a different one and it, that was a steel wire inside of there and that works out really, really well. So for myself, Matt, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part of this series. Cheerios.